By default, Ford deactivates the forward-facing spotlights on speeds above 7 miles per hour, as shown here. The modification shown in this video will remove the speed override so the spotlights can be used at any speed as shown here. To get all the parts shown in this video, check out our website at BoostAutoParts.com. The first thing you need to do is locate the spotlight module. The spotlight module is located on the driver's side underneath the dash. So if you come right up over to here, on the far right hand side, you can see there's a green connector and a black connector. We're going to be working with the green connector. Locate the green connector on the spotlight module. On the top of it, there's a tab. Depress the tab and pull the green connector out towards the front of the vehicle. And pull it down. For illustrative purposes, we have a connector here on the bench, but this can be done with it on the truck. Locate the wire in pin 2. If you're looking at the connector from the rear, pin 2 will be located one over from the left in the top row. Be sure to go based on pin location as wire color will vary. You're going to cut back some of the tape on your truck's factory harness and then you're going to cut this gray wire a couple inches back from the connector. The gray wire right over here, as we're showing in this video, is going to be the wire from your factory harness. You can just tape this back with some electrical tape. In this case, for illustrative purposes on the bench, we're just going to remove this wire, but this would be on your factory harness. You'll just tape it back out of the way. Install the provided T-taps onto both the wires in pin 1 and pin 2. You'll do that by placing the wire in the jaws of the T-tap and then folding it over until it latches. Locate the module provided by Boost Auto Parts. The orientation of this module is very important. The side with the blue ring needs to face towards the wire in position 1, which is in the top left-hand corner. Take the module and plug the disconnect from the module directly into the T-tap, making sure the metal from the disconnect slides directly in and that the disconnect slides all the way forward. Then, the module is flexible. You can kind of bend it over, and the side without the blue ring will go towards pin 2. Make sure the metal from the disconnect goes directly into the T-tap, and that the disconnect slides all the way forward. This will be how the module will look after it's been installed. The blue ring towards position 1, the side without the blue ring towards position 2. So just recapping here, the blue ring is facing towards position 1. Take the connector and plug it back into the module. It should latch into place. One way you can test to make sure that this was successfully installed is the spotlight should now be able to be turned on while the vehicle is off. So as you can see here, the vehicle is completely off, the dash is dead, and the spotlights can still be turned on. With this modification, the spotlights can be activated while the vehicle is off, so be sure to turn them off before leaving the vehicle for a prolonged period of time to ensure the battery is not drained. And just like that, your installation is complete. To get all the parts shown in this video, as well as other parts and accessories for your truck or SUV, check out our website at BoostAutoParts.com.